The pool rooms is one of the most famous backrooms levels, and it has been ever since Jared Pike uploaded this first found footage video about it. But something that a lot of people don't know is that there are several secret sublevels and secret zones deep inside its complex. And they aren't all sunshine and rainbows, let me tell you. So in this video, I'm going to be talking about two of these sublevels, and they might make you rethink traveling to the pool rooms and staying there because you think it's safe. Anyways, let's get into some strange sublevels, shall we? The Intoxicated Pools. This level is classified as a class 3 survival difficulty and is generally unsafe and unsecure due to a hazardous environment. The level itself is a huge expanse of rooms and hallways that resemble the pool rooms slightly. There's white tiles here and strange staircases, but the obvious difference is the color of the water. Some of the floors under the water are not tile here as well, and they're actually a shaggy carpet, which is an effect similar to level 7's carpet floor at the bottom of its ocean. The size of the sublevel isn't fully known yet, but it's definitely large. Well over a thousand rooms because people have been exploring and people have gotten lost and we just have to assume that it's huge. The lighting on this level comes from the widened out windows, just like the regular pool rooms, so that's one thing that they share. The temperature of the water here is pretty much impossible to actually measure because depending on how close the water is to the windows, the temperature can be vastly different. For example, the closer to the window the water is, the hotter it'll be. So hot to the point where you can't even touch it. And the further away, the more freezing cold it'll be. Now, the water in this level is not actually regular water or almond water, and that's why I did air quotes that you couldn't see. Because this is actually thicker and slimier than both of those. It also can't freeze or boil, despite some of it being blisteringly cold and blisteringly hot. The water itself is also a dark lilac color, and it's been described as a purple goo. It's almost like liquidy jello in consistency. The feeling of this goo is very uncomfortable and it's just not very good to touch and many wanderers have reported getting goosebumps and just feeling very uneasy while being inside of it. It just doesn't feel right. The water is also full of several types of pathogens that carry all sorts of disease and sickness to those who touch it, especially those who fall in or accidentally dunk their head under water. Because if you do that, the pathogens will go in your nose or ears and get to your brain and respiratory system, causing you to have a hard time breathing and other illnesses as well. In some areas, there are also pieces of fungus and moss that are floating on the surface of this jello water, and it's thought that this fungus and then the pathogens are connected together somehow, and that the purple color of the water has something else to do with it as well. Some have also reported strange psychological effects like wanting to jump into the water or feeling really dizzy or obsessed with staying inside of the purple water here. People who do that stuff typically aren't seen again, so don't do that stuff. Many times people will begin to feel obsessed and venture deeper into the sublevel, wanting to get into the water, and once they do, no one ever sees them again. To enter this level, you can no-clip on level 58 to have a chance, or you can cause an accident, whatever that means, on level 96 to be sent here as well. And to exit, you have to be very careful because no-clipping is thought to take you directly to the void level. So no no-clipping here, which of course, if you don't know what the void is, it's pretty much a death sentence. It'll keep you trapped in an infinite dark area forever. So the way that you need to escape is you need to find a dark, small, and empty hallway and walk through it until you get to the next level, level 871. Now this is the only way you can make it out of the level alive, so unless you find that hallway, you'll be swimming in purple goo forever, and perhaps being absorbed by this purple goo. I mean, it does do weird things to people, so I don't know. Next and finally for this video is level 37.1, or as it's more commonly known, the deep end. So this sublevel is also classified as a class 3 difficulty, just like the last one, and is unsafe and unsecure due to its environment. Its physical description is very, very similar to the regular pool rooms with the randomly segmented halls and rooms that are full of water, but the main difference in this sublevel, if you couldn't tell by the name, is the sheer depths of the water here and what might lurk inside of them. You see, normal pool rooms hallways can be decently deep like 10 feet or so, but most of them are just waist deep. These hallways in the deep end can be well over 40 meters deep, to the point where you can't even see the bottom of them. It's just a dark abyss under you. 
And this makes navigating the level really hard since you have to tread water and you can't just walk. You have to just swim through this darkness to get anywhere. Another thing that makes this sublevel difficult is the lack of light. The corridors and hallways here are just pitch black for the most part and can only be lit up by artificial sources like flashlights and phones and whatever else. Now there are some rare cases where the walls themselves have this weird dingy glow, but that doesn't matter much to be honest. The connections from room to room in the deep end are also extremely hard to use because most of them are underwater. Not only are they underwater though, they're very claustrophobic. It's a very tight window to get to the next part. So you can't just walk through from hall to hall to get to the next room. You have to swim in the pitch black in freezing cold water with no light to get to the next area. The level is also not well maintained and clean like the pool rooms is. The regular pool rooms keeps this shiny surface and really sunny, vibrant vibe, and there's no dirt that ever shows. But the tiles and everything here on this level are gross. The water is darker and murky, almost green in some areas, and the air is musty and stale. And it's just a very cold, unpleasant place to find yourself stuck in. The structure and layout of the level can also change very fast while you're exploring sometimes resulting in very confusing and twisted structures and weird hallways that never end. This is due to non-Euclidean geometry, which is just the icing on the cake for this amazingly dangerous level. I mean, I guess it wasn't dangerous enough that it's dark, you can't see anything, and you're stuck in water. I guess they just had to make it, you know, non-Euclidean as well. Thanks, backrooms. As far as entities go, there aren't really any that permanently live here. There's only been a few facelings that have been seen wading through deeper waters far into the level, which is actually pretty scary. And it's actually unknown how they got there, but whatever. There's also been some instances of the Hydrolytus Plague virus, which of course is a very dangerous virus that lurks in water in the backrooms. So be careful if you have to swim here. And there's also been uncorroborated reports of seeing Glitchtons in this sublevel. Now Glitchtons might be a real entity, they might not be, we don't know. They're kind of like this silent skeleton type entity that's been known to lurk deep in the waters here. Who knows? But overall, this level will really mess with your mind. You know, from the freezing water temperatures to the non-Euclidean layout, to the small claustrophobic and pitch black hallways, to the nasty smell. It just feels like an old forgotten part of the pool rooms that no one was supposed to see, except thousands of you all just did. You're welcome. To enter the level, you have to wander too deep into the pool rooms, and you'll find yourself stuck here with no way to return. And to exit, you gotta get lucky, to be honest. One of the ways is to randomly find a water slide in the wall, jump in that water slide, and it'll take you to another sub-level, which is level 37.4. It's safer, it's still not safe, but it's safer. Or you can just try to no-clip, but that might not work. It's really hard to exit from the deep end, I gotta say. So yeah, those were two sublevels of the pool rooms. Both of them were great. Both of them were very good, very liminal, good psychological effects as well. Check them out below if you want the full article. Also, while you're down there, check out my third channel, Spoogly, if you want more internet horror and mystery content. Almost a 50k subs over there. If you want to help me get to 100, help a brother out, I would appreciate it. Also, tell me what levels that you want me to go over in the comments below. I'll add them to the list. Hope y'all are getting ready for the Halloween time, because I got a ton of stuff cooking. I mean, a ton of stuff, literally. Thank you for everything. Love and appreciate you all. And I will see you in the next video. Peace.